Hi there, once again, welcome to Adutech. In today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about pivot tables, pivot tables in Excel. Basically, pivot tables allow you to automatically summarize your data. Whereas normal tables are very fixed, pivot tables are flexible. So they add a bit of flexibility to your data. Okay, so this is a record or this is some values we have in which we are going to use them to create a pivot table. So we can look at how we can easily summarize this data using pivot tables. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. To use pivot tables, make sure you click on any where within your table. Your table should be selected, any cell at all. Now you move to the insert button and then you click on what? Pivot table. Okay, when you click over there, you see that your entire table will be selected as you can see. What you need to do is that you have can you can allow this to appear in a different worksheet or we can just open a new worksheet over. so when you select new worksheet it's actually going to open a new worksheet over here and then summarize our data there if you want to do it on existing worksheet maybe side by side want it to appear at one side of this you can just go ahead and then click on existing worksheet so you can just click on this and what i need to do is that i need to select where i want to display my summarized data so maybe i just want just this side so i'll just click over and that part of my cells my cell will be selected and i'll just click on ok so once i click on ok you can see where my pivot table will be displayed has been selected so we're going to this are the values we have over here where we can use to summarize our entire data so I have two four different columns over here or i have four fields over here i have the filter columns values and the rules so maybe I want to display the dates. So this is my order date. I want to display them as my row. So that's going to be the title of the row. Or maybe I want to use the name or I can just drag that over there. So let's assume we want our total at the value column. So I'll just click on total over here and then drag it to my value column. So you see, it's giving the total of this. When you summarize this or when you add this, you're going to get this total. So that's the sum total. We want to actually get the dates, the order dates. So we're going to bring the order date to our row over here. So you can see we are not getting the order date showing up over here. And it's giving us a grand total over here. So we're getting, we are getting that. We can also decide to put in the name of the individual persons into the columns. If you choose to do that, you just go to the names column and drag it to We'll go to the name and drag it to column so look at what this is going to ha happen look at what is happening here it's summarizing it according to what we provided so we have adua over here adua is having what 6720 that is the total for adua and then amanda in that order so it's going to summarize them in that order we can see the value for each column if you don't want to do it that way you can just go back and then maybe i don't want the name as a column i can just go and then maybe deselect it from there and then it will summarize my this my data for me let's also assume that maybe you want to add all the names at the top here we can go and then we can just go and drag the name we want to add it as a filter we can filter by name so we can just go and drag name and then put it at the filter column wise so we can see names all oh, we want to get maybe just a total for maybe let's say amanda can just select that one and click on okay so it's going to give me the total for just amanda if i want to get it for maybe caleb i click on that and it's going to give me the total for caleb so pivot will basically give you some form of flexibility around your data you've been able to analyze your data based on your normal table your fixed table but this gives us a lot of flexibility if, if you come to the row column we can easily sort and select a specific month maybe i just want some few months i can deselect the rest and then analyze based on a specific month and i'll click on ok so this is basically what we have we want to get everything just click on all and then it's going to give me the summary for the entire descent the entire data if we filter maybe i don't want to filter by names maybe i want to filter by the quantity i can basically go and then deselect name and then maybe i'll drag the quantity to the filter column so you see we have all quantity if you want to get maybe those two orders that have been placed maybe within the quantity is 25 can select that click ok and it's giving that so that's it's september 2021 
so this is what i have i have some total for that if you want to get for maybe 71 and then i'll just click on that and then it's going to give me that we also have option where i can select multiple items when i click on this you can i can select maybe quantity for 71 56 and then maybe uh, 59 and then click on ok so i can summarize data based on just that remember to subscribe to this channel if you are new and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of the updates coming up we're going to have amazing content coming up on this channel so pivot tables allows you to summarize your data and you can do anything at all as much as you want if you understand how it works if you have any challenges leave it at the comment section or can just chat me you can just chat me and then we'll look at how we can go about it so i'm going to end this here this short tutorial about pivot tables and you can try your hands on any data at all and see how that is going to work for you so basically this is always going to help you if i want everything i'll just select all and then click ok and then it's going to give me the ground total if you want to check this and see you can come to your main data select all go to auto sum and then you can see that we are getting the same figure away that's 61,933.00 and that's basically what the pivot table is also giving us so pivot table is going to help you a lot to analyze your data till i come your way another time stay safe and then continue to visit my channel and subscribe as well bye bye